Now the setup is, um, again, two auto dubbers and two different approaches, one more expensive and one less expensive than what you've seen. Um, the one directly in front of you, which shows Scott, is the micro lip sync system, um, and it includes an NEC personal computer with NEC speech recognition system in it. Um, the catch that makes it a little more expensive is that the image is animated by means of the AED display. So the display is a high density, high quality video display generator under the control of the personal computer. Which costs a lot, lot more than the personal computer and speech recognizer. The speech recognizer boards in the personal computer are like $250, $300 worth of hardware, and the personal computer itself is probably another 1000 1200 I find uh, uh, this to be pretty good, uh, but the one thing about it I find disconcerting, talking now about uh, uh, zero bandwidth teleconferencing, is the fact that the face is, is totally immobile unless somebody's talking. Right, I agree. Um, yeah, what I wish I had right here was an exclamation button, so that when somebody says something that's... Uh, that, that, that I didn't expect, whether th I was talking or not, I could just hit the button and have yep. the face change to reflect my nonverbal reaction to what was said. Mm -hmm. well, and I wouldn't you, even uh, feel intruded upon by having it be an explicit action on my part. The head tracker works pretty well. Yeah, it, prob uh, it only works pretty well. The ability to, to uh, determine who's looking at whom adds a good sense of realism to this. That is my, my intuition, I think, that it would be better in a virtual space context, I, I believe was correct. Right, that's definitely. Actually, that's actually an important part of the teleconferencing in general. You don't I really so. want to give the illusion of the person being there. That's kind of unrealistic. But you need something to orchestrate the conversation. That's right. Now, in fact, here, we're all talking to you, to you but um, we could ignore you and go on and talk to ourselves. That's right, Andy. Let's talk to each other. How about, uh, you want to face my head here? That's kind of nice, eh? Do I have to? We, yeah. <laughs> Can we switch back to the caricature of Scott? Uh, Am I a caricature now, or the no, real thing? No, now you're the real thing. Um, you're the real thing. But somebody at the it switcher... It hardly feels any different at all. Uh, yeah, there we go. How is the, uh, is the caricaturing done? You have 16 frames stored in the AED? This one is actually 9 frames. I believe that's Eric. right. And uh, we're using the voice recognizer trained on the vowel sounds. So you take the uh, vowel sounds and, and pigeonhole them then into nine different pigeonholes, in effect? That's right. And as those, uh, they're actually not just vowel sounds there, but there are nine phonemes that we are using here. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we'll do is zoom in the appropriate region in the, the large picture, which is a composite of all the different mouth positions. Um, I'd like to suggest that we break for lunch. I'm sorry, Chris, I didn't hear you. I'm, su I'm suggesting that we break for lunch and, and during lunch bec because I'm famished. I'm merely um, a caricature and I'm really... Uh, during, anyway. during lunch I, we I can get a drawing of try to get <laughs> <laughs> some okay. plastic sushi. <laughs> Signing off. See you all in a little while. Yeah, bye-bye. Over and out.